back with Stephen Karam all the way to about late 2006. We've commissioned him a few times now. His play right after Speech and Debate was with us called Sons of the Prophet. It ended up being a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. We commissioned Stephen again, and the result of that was this play, The Humans. I think it's different from other family Thanksgiving plays because it has a lot of humor to it, and then other things start to seep in. You start to get a sense of all of the troubles beneath the surface, and you start to see things shift as the play goes on. I was really interested in representing the dark underside of family love. People who have lived all their lives together snap at each other and the way that that love is messy and prickly, but still very deep. And the depth of humanity of all the people in the play is very appealing to me. I'm always interested in characters that are struggling to live life as fully as possible, despite setbacks, foibles, character defects, etc. I think the title is astonishing because it really does apply. They are humans with all the greatnesses and nobility of humans and all of the weaknesses and downfalls. Stephen has set himself the challenge of writing this play in real time. So there are no breaks. There are no opportunities for these characters to escape. He has a way of capturing <laughs> tiny moments between people that are so startlingly real. It's a relief to speak Stephen's words. You're just not covering up for any inconsistencies or you don't have to make it sound better than it is in any way. It's just there. It's just how human beings speak to one another. Well, this is my second time with Joe Mantello and uh, I think he's brilliant. He is articulate and sharp and clear and smart and unsentimental. He's not interested in pandering to an audience. It's so accessible. I would like to think that the audience would feel like they're in the room having Thanksgiving with us. Mm -hmm.